the vi findings of this study um, are very interesting. We found that in TNBC, which is widely accepted to represent the biggest challenge in, uh, in breast cancer treatment today, we found 20% of the patients had um, loss of RB1. Uh, loss of RB1 was seen at the level of somatic mutations um, as well as uh, breakpoint, structural breakpoints and deletion of RB1. And uh, in addition to loss of RB1, the majority of the remaining patients had intact CDK and 2A, which would mean that this cohort of breast cancer patients would not be likely candidates for palbociclib therapy. This aligns well with what has been published or seen in clinical studies so far, although in limited samples, but palbociclib um, has not been found to be uh, responsive in the triple ne negative cohort from the studies that have been done so far. So in addition to the triple negative category, we also looked at the HER2 positive or the hormone receptor positive HER2 positive cat, uh, subset of breast cancer. And in there, we found that 60% of the patients had amplification of CD, uh, CCND1 as well as CCND2 gene. So that was very interesting because that would make um, this subset or 60% uh, of these patients have a higher likelihood of response to palbociclib therapy. And I um, can tell you that there are clinical trials ongoing that is looking into uh, the possibility of uh, palbociclib working in HER2-positive breast cancer patients.